of an image, you can change them individually. Like you can have um, one comma zero point five. This would stretch it um, horizontally, and something like this would stretch it vertically. By the way, you do not have to use decimal points unless you want to have something like this. But this is the same as this. This as this regular one. Um Mugen will ignore the second number that comes after the decimal, so something like this it's ignored and it only sees five point one. Okay, after you've done that, it's time to go over to um, player one, background one. Player one, background one is the empty life bar for when you get knocked out. And it happens to be this image for me. And, um, oh, another thing I wanted to tell you is that all, it's very important for all of your life bar images to be a the line exactly the same. If you don't, you will have some issues when it's time to position things. And you kind of want to do the same thing for anything that's going to be an animation as well. This doesn't really matter, but you want to keep your sprites as close as possible to the bottom right half of the crosshair, which would be down here. That I think this right here would be like um, uh, position 0.0, 0, .0. Um, which would be 0, 0.0 here. If you have your image aligned to 0, 0.0, I guess it would appear, li appear like in the top right corner of the screen. But anyway, um, your background image I've changed to an animation because the only way to set the only way to set transparency and blending options for sprites in the fight definition files to turn into an animation. I'll tell you how to do that later. Now you need to change the offset for um, your image and I changed it to 27 because it's going to be like 27 pixels to the right of the background image and it's about probably 5 pixels down so, well about 6 since I um, have it set uh, I guess incorrectly in Fighter Factory it needed to be 6 pixels up. A minus number in the Y coordinate means it's, the image is going up or shifted up. Um, if you have a minus number in X coordinate it's shifted to the left. Um, facing uh, comes in two flavors as well. Facing equaling 1 means the image is facing the right. If you delete this line of code here, it automatically defaults to facing 1, which is the right. A facing of minus 1 means facing the left. Everything in P2 and P4 should face the left. Um, unless you put the sprites in backwards, then you need to have P1 and P3 facing the left. Anyway, um, once you're done with all that, and if you notice that layer number commented out down here, it still defaults to 1. Um, damage is the mid section, so P1 mid is your damage bar, which is the bar that you see flash when you get hit and take damage. It's red in the default screen pack, and it's also red in, in my screen pack. And here's the bar here. It was root 1 and it's 6. 
I also had to use an animation. I don't understand all of this noise. No one is supposed to be out there. Here in my window right now. Anyway, um, P1 front is the life bar that you'll see when you have full health, which in my case is this one. You pretty much do the same thing until you get to the P1X range. What you're going to do here is that you'll need to know how far you offset your sprites to begin with. If you notice everything here is offset in the X coordinate by 27. So the first number needs to be where your sprite begins. So it needs to be 27. The second um, coordinate you come to once you figure out how large your sprite is. The first thing that's going on is this. The back end for P1 and P4 is going to be here which would be um, on the left side closer to the edge of the screen. The front end is going to be the left side closer to the clock. So you need to know the width of your image and then you need to add that width onto your offset which came out to be about 390 and it needs to be 392 now. So once you do that it'll tell um, Mugen how much life you have and how to take away life. It basically set up, sets up uh, your ability to take damage and you do not want to set your X range until if you set all your positioning. It should be the last thing you do for player one. You do the exact same thing for player two except for everything needs to have a facing of minus one. After you've changed your position, this is very important to do this first. Um, also, when you get down here to the P2X range, it's just the opposite. The back side would be the right side over here close to the edge of the screen and the front side would be the left side over here close to the clock for P2 and P4. And it's similar. You need to know your offset for um, where your image is going to begin. It's not going to be 290. It's going to be probably like 1000 90 or something and then the front side is going, was actually I think it was like I think my offset was originally like 370 something so I need to subtract 370 from this number and then I can set the offset and uh, well, I need to set, yeah, subtract that from that number. And then type in whatever I subtracted over here.